competition at the end yeah. of the game. How much do you think they're missing Sadio Mane this season? Well, it's an interesting one, and people will, will look to Liverpool last season and over the seasons. It, it, it look, this team looks a little bit more like the team that, that Klopp inherited rather than the team that he's built, because the team that he's built have an intensity, have a way of playing. And the Mane thing's interesting because while he was a great goal scorer and assists and, and attacking threat, he was often the guy who started the press from the front of the pitch for Liverpool, and that had a trigger reaction to the other front players, the midfield, and their defence can push up tight. Now, I think it's too simplistic to say Mane's gone, that's the problem. Liverpool aren't playing well as a team. You look mm. in the attack, they're not as flowing. Defensively, it's a little bit sloppy, and the, the midfield balance and intensity has not been there. Virgil van Dijk doesn't yet look at the top of his game. Would you agree? Yeah, I would. I mean, I thought... I mean, today, I, the, I can't remember which game it was now. A couple of games ago, he looked particularly poor. Got, well, he's been, he been, got caught mm. for uh, the penalty. penalty because yeah. Fulham, yeah. Mitrovic yep. beat him uh, there, we wouldn't expect. Um, it, it's just a strange in Liverpool. It's been a poor start. That's mm. a poor start to where they are right now. You look at the fixtures they've had. Yes, Manchester United away is difficult. And yes, this game... But it's still not scary, some of the fixtures. And for them to be where they are now, the other teams are going to win, they're going to drop down the league a little bit. It's a little bit concerning that the poor start, I know the results came in with a big win, etc., against Bournemouth, but they're nowhere near where they, where they normally are. Yes. Is that Liverpool have not scored uh, today. And you were a little concerned when Virgil van Dijk made a, a challenge in that second half. That the referees will have watched it back. I think because he stood still as much as anything and he's leaning into it rather than off his feet yeah. and, and, and really committing into the, you know, the, the, the tackle where he's in, not in control of his body, Virgil van Dijk. I think had he been off his feet, it would have definitely been a red card. No. You, uh, I don't know how that finished 0-0. Could you sum that up for us? <laughs> yeah, real derby. Super intense um, and with a... A lot of really spectacular moments. Um, they obviously scored a goal. I didn't see it back, but I think they watched it long enough, so it probably was offside. Then Ali with a sensational save. Don't have that. I didn't see that back. I have no idea how the ball couldn't go in. But we had, I'm not sure, one hundred I think three times post and um, a few unbelievable saves of, of, of people. At least half a dozen. Wow. <laughs> So and now what can you do? So that it, that it was not an easy free flow. You cannot in this game, easy free flowing is not possible. So you have to dig in really deep. That's what we did. And um, so in the end it's nil nil, which is sounds strange, but that's it. You can sense a bit of frustration from the players that they, they wanted to create more and, and get through the lines. I think. Yeah, reasons. but that's that, that, that's normal. That's what they should try. But um, that's a, for, for different reasons not so easy and um, super intense week for us. Wednesday night really tough game. Had to go until had really to go to the wire, and then um, yeah, a few days later you, you play here. And, and yes, we had in the past, especially last season, games where it might have looked slightly different. But they were in a different moment, the time as well. So and if you if you open up with a with a goal or whatever, the, the situation it can look different. But most of the time we know that. I don't know how many derbies I played now, um, quite a few, and it's always difficult here. It was always. We expect that, and was difficult today. Cavalio, is, is that injury serious or just a? No, just, uh, I'm not 100 sure, but we all think it's the it's the muscle above the knee with a massive dead leg. Uh, very painful. Really, whoever had that before, I can say that's uh, um, one of the most painful things you can get. But should settle quickly. But um, we will see. We play already on Wednesday, so I'm not sure about that. Just to mention, yes, the bigger picture: players coming back to trip to Napoli. Good timing for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I'm not for the, for the Napoli game, I'm, I'm not sure. Probably Thiago can train for Monday, but um, that's then two days training. So what does that mean? If that's not one hundred percent sure. Um, no, apart from that, that's the group. But that's fine. That's fine. It's um, the situation is like it is, and um, we have to. Um, yeah, for, for the day, look, you, you, you can cut out the derby always out of the season. It's always special, it's always different. Wherever we were there and they were fighting for, for relegation, apart from last year, um, it was always really tough. And we, we won here when, with, uh, I remember that five years ago, but that was uh, when, with a late, late, late goal from Dennis Storage, rolled the ball to the post pretty much, and Sadio Mane reacted to the quickest. So this game was not better uh, at all. It was just a tough one as well in the end. Um, I, I don't forget that they had a big chance to go with offside, so that I don't count that really, even when it was close, but the chance with um, Ali made a save.
safe, that was proper. Apart from that, we had obviously bigger chances, and um, yeah, but it's okay now. Well done. Thanks, Jürgen. Thank you, sir.